Looking for the ultimate option in headphone comfort with high quality sound and extended bass response that won't fatigue your ears? Blue. 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 This collaboration between Fostex and Econi Audio is just what you need. A combination of Fostex planar magnetic drivers and Econi hybrid ear pads means these cans don't mess around. Econi. Useful tech education and gaming nostalgia that won't put you to sleep. Get subscribed and turn on notifications so you won't miss the next guide. I'm Evils Vox here to make tech easier and more fun, and the people over at Deconi Audio let me take an early look at their upcoming collaboration with Fostex. These are the new blue headphones. Yes, that's what they're called, that's not just the color. These headphones are actually a revision of Fostex's T50RP Mark III, which aims to make the headphone less fatiguing and smoother with an extended bass response, which we'll touch on in a minute. They are also equipped with Deconi's hybrid ear pads, which I've recently reviewed for the best comfort and sound compensation, but Elite Velour ear pads are also included in the box with these headphones when you buy them. Physically, these are nicely built without being too heavy. Most of the outer showing parts are made of hard plastic, but durable enough that I wouldn't see them breaking anytime soon. They're pretty solid. I love the height adjustment mechanism. It is so much smoother than just about most headphones that I have used and just feels right for some reason. The cans are a good size, fully covering my ears without being as huge as my K7XX headphones, housing 38 millimeter drivers. And the Deconi hybrid ear pads are comfortable as can be, of course. These actually close up sound leakage a bit without fully closing off the sound stage or focusing bass directly into your ears. They feature velour on the face, which provides comfy contact with your skin, along with their thick, soft memory foam inside, which has been some of my favorite of any ear pads I've used. The outer ring is a sheepskin material to isolate the sound, but their inner ring features their fenestrated sheepskin, which allows sound to enter the foam and be isolated there instead of just focusing it all into your ear. This pad works really well here. I remember in my original review of their ear pads, I was curious as to when, when exactly you'd want those. This is a good use case. The cable is somewhat short, but it locks into place on, a, on the cans in a kind of unique way, while still being serviceable and somewhat, something that can be replaced or swapped out. I love this concept. The headband, though, this is one of these polarizing things for me. For most people, it is probably fine. There's only a thin band running through the headband, but the padding on it isn't very thick. But I just really don't like solid band headphones, period. I'm, I'm, I'm finally learning that I just don't. On the whole, these headphones are comfortable as hell. But sometimes, if the headband sits in the right spot on my head, which is usually where I'd put them, it just really starts to hurt after a while. Just a common factor in my reviews. I much prefer suspension-style bands, but everyone has different preferences, and I get a lot of comments on my reviews saying that a lot of people don't like suspension style at all. Unlike many of the headphones that I review, these semi-open back headphones provide a satisfying bump to the mid-range with smooth but present bass. I'm a weird one in that I generally prefer very flat headphones. Speakers, give me that bass. But headphones, I generally prefer flat. I received a couple of complaints on my original AKG K7XX review for liking things too flat which I just find funny. But I'm not gonna lie, the bass response on the blue headphones has been a nice change of pace. My music has a new oomph to it when wearing these, which I can appreciate. While the soundstage isn't quite as open as my AKG cans, the, it's surprisingly usable given how isolated these cans are. Positioning in-game has been great, and general media consumption is pretty good. I do start to miss some of the high end that these cans don't fully produce here compared to my other headphones, however. Now, this is to keep them smooth and to prevent fatiguing, because if you crank up the high end on them, they do get a little fatiguing. But for purposes like ASMR and some music genres, the lesser high end can feel a little bit lacking. Overall, this was a great branch away from the headphones that I normally review and has made me consider checking out more headphones that I'd previously shied away from. The blue headphones, it's still weird that I'm just calling them that, the blue headphones are comfortable, easy on the ears, and sound great. And they look pretty neat too, I like this design. At the time of recording, these headphones are still on pre-order. I'll throw a link to them on Deconi's website in the video description down below. Check them out 
if you're interested. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, get subscribed for more awesome tech tips, and I do have a playlist linked in the video description below where you can see my other headphone reviews for context, because it's important when listening to reviewers to understand the context in which they've reviewed other similar products, so I'll have that link down below as well, and I'll see you in the next one. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Our videos would not be possible without the generosity of those of you who contribute to one of our fan funding options via DonorBox, Twitch subscriptions, direct contributions via PayPal, or Patreon. To join our inner circle and get behind-the-scenes looks at videos, go to epostvox.com support to learn more, and join us on Discord at epostvox.com Discord. Thanks!